What's up, everyone? Again, those are here back with part three now of the Don't Go on 64 playthrough, which is which has got done with DK's Gavis and Creepy Castle, and we, and we continue with Creepy Castle as Denny Kong as we get the rest of his gold bananas. Okay. Oh, and his Chris Watt, too. Yup. Is this also, also where you're supposed to get their level three uh, ground pound? Yeah, we got that already in the, in the oh, previous yeah, video. Oh, okay. Yeah. The last car, I believe. I like, uh, what's his name? Chunky Kongs? That's he does it. like He does like sort of a, uh, um, an aerial flip, and then he slams his shoulder into the ground. I like that a lot. <laughs> that, that is pretty cool. Who do I, oh yeah, Chunky. That is pretty sweet. Yeah, it's Chunky Kong. How about, yeah, the, how about on the, uh, the, the, which, which Mario hack was it where, where Luigi ground pound with his knees? Uh, I have no idea. It was on one of those Mario hacks where Luigi ground pound with his knees, instead of his bottom. That sounds kind of painful. It is. It might have been on, on the secret going statues. Yeah, I keep going, I keep going to the wrong spot. Times to charm it. Yeah, we haven't. Right. All right, we didn't activate oh, uh, yeah, an M41 yeah, yeah, yet. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, that makes sense then. This is pretty creepy. <clears throat> so, the guy, what's your thoughts on Creepy Castle again? Um. Hold on, I'm eating. Oh. Huh. Oh yeah, what you gotta do here? You, you gotta you gotta uh, triple charge the buzz in, in in the right order. One, two, three, four. But if you hit, but if you hit the, if you hit him out of order, you, you can get his get his uh his regular bananas. Okay. So what what are my thoughts on Creepy Castle? Yes. Is out for. Oh okay. I, no, oh I, shit. I what? love the place because of the music and the ambience. I fucking hate the boss though. <laughs> yeah, I hate the boss in this area too. It's so dumb. No, cause like as a kid, like when I was playing this as a kid, fan, uh, the uh, the boss gave me so much trouble. Yes, yeah, same I, here. I got so frustrated. I actually threw my controller at the television. <laughs> Oh, no, about I just, to say. I was like, I want to say I was around uh, seven or eight years old when this game came out. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. And uh, it really pissed me off, like that boss, because like every time I would see like like the silhouette of uh, Phantom K. Roll. Yeah. I I would legit think it was him. And uh, I thought it was. I thought of a strategy where I would more than likely hit him is if, um, is if Phantom K. Roll, cause you know how there's supposed to be like, I think there's like the Phantom and then there's the cardboard cutout. Yeah. Uh, whenever I would see the cardboard cutout, it would be a much lighter color. Than yeah, the I know what you're talking about. But every time I hit the lighter color, it's still the Phantom and <laughs> that's what pissed me off. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, same and, and the here. Thing is, like, and the thing is, if you miss, you cannot get that Kong back until you die. Yeah, that that's what sucks about it. it it's like... It, it's like whenever you're playing a Final Fantasy game, mm -hmm. and the character, and, and like, the enemy or the boss uses snorts, you lose that character for the entirety of the battle. But is it worse than if you lose your leader, you get a game over? Shots fired at, at uh, Final Fantasy 13. <laughs> I, I've never played Final Fantasy 13. Oh, uh, but go have fun with that, because that game was a nightmare. Glad I beat it, though. Or it's like you're playing a roguelike RPG. Like, you could be, the, you could be at the highest level with the best gear. If you die, you lose everything. Everything. You lose your level, you lose your gear, and you have to start from square one. Oh shit. Damn, that's, that's rad bullshit. It is. 
That's why roguelike RPGs are some of the hardest RPGs. And yeah, Down you go. go. Swish. That's if most of you know what roguelike RPGs are. Mm, not really. I might have played some of them, but I don't know what it is. <clears throat> okay, for a roguelike RPG is like you start the story and then you are thrown into a dungeon and you're only one character. Uh, the the map you're in is sort of grid based, so it's kind of like a strategy RPG in a way. But yeah, but. It, but the map's in a grid, sort of. It, like, you move your character in a grid. If you move, the enemies around you move. Yeah. So, like, if you get closer to an enemy, you can attack it, and then the enemy attacks you. So it's like a back and forth type of thing. Okay. okay. Yeah. Huh. It, so that's the basic premise of a roguelike RPG. Alright. I need to try that one. Maybe, maybe try, you know. Wow. Maybe try to try one for uh, one day. Just I would. I would say the more lighthearted roguelike RPGs are the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games. Oh, I feel I've like... seen a bunch of those. I just haven't never really got a chance to try them one day, one time. Yeah. Okay, for this, for this fanatic mission, we're in this ballroom. We got to kill all the enemies to get the uh the jetpack to spawn and light and light the candles. Just like you did so, back in uh, back in the uh, Crystal Caves uh, cabin. So those enemies were supposed to fall down to attack you, and you just pretty much took care of that. Yeah. You pretty much just spawn killed them. Yup. <laughs> and oh, and, and, and as you can saw, as you as you can see earlier, we had to come back here as Tiny because there is her her uh, her monkey port right under the stairs. Yep, oh. there it is. Uh, bonus game. Oh yeah, there's a bonus game we got we gotta play first. Then the gold banana spawns. Oh, there's the balloon. Add to the balloon. There you go. And we already got that banana medal. Alright, let's see what it is this time. Oh, it's this one! My car mayhem. Just like uh, before. Yeah, that's where, uh, more TNTs come into play. Yeah, this time you got two on your ass. Yeah, pretty much. Oh shit. Uh, I'm like a few seconds behind you guys. Oh well. Oh, uh, where are you at right now? Uh, where he just got to the countdown for Minecart and Bam. Oh, yeah, okay. we, we had 750. Uh, right back. 745, right. yeah, I'm like a few seconds behind. That's all right. Alright. Right. Yeah, you best have to slow down at times. Oh yeah, so random fun fact, even though that no one cares, today has been, as this recording session, today it's been three years since the PS4 came out. Yeah, and today marks the 15th anniversary of the Xbox. <laughs> now that, that's, now that's kind of interesting. <laughs> doesn't yeah. feel like, doesn't feel like it's been three years since the PS4 came out. That was a clutch! You lucky. <laughs> and go open that for us. Oh, and if I happen to say PS3, I'm at PS4. <laughs> Wait, did you say PS3 or PS4? Oh, I said. You definitely did say PS4. Okay. Oh. Just to make sure. Like the whole, like the whole, uh, Red Dead Redemption will be on Xbox 360 scenario. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Must have been tired at that at some point, cause like, cause that tends to happen to me. Like usually when I'm tired, I usually t I tend to get information mixed up. Yeah. Nah, I wasn't really tired. I I gotta start playing these games I have that I got for my birthday. I I need to get back my PS Vita. I mean a PS a PlayStation TV. Oh, that too. Yeah. That too. Gotta start playing some Star Ocean 5, Integrity and Faithlessness. I need to get back on, uh... Fantasy. I need to get back on Pretty Can I Really Be the Hero? Oh, I had that game on my PSP. That game is freaking it's, tough! It's 
fun. I like it. Yeah, it is fun, but tough too. <laughs> yeah, he's right. It will give you a headache. Oh, hey, oh, Celtics, you should check out this game called uh, Conception Two: Seven uh, uh, Children of the Seven Stars. Oh, I thought you were about the one on the PS4. No. The one that Rotten played that day. What? Deception for the PS4. Oh, oh no, no, that's a different series. That's a different series. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, that's actually Tecmo's Deception for the, uh, it's part of that series. No, the, the game I'm talking about is uh, Conception. Okay. The game, legit, is all about creating children with your classmates. Interesting. And hold still, fly. <laughs> yeah, the game conception, like you, you're you're the main character, and yeah. uh, the dude looks really badass. Like he he dual wields the swords, there's knives, and you have your classmates, who is a par who is a, a party member, and then your children become party members. Interesting. Yeah, you legit just having sex with your classmates. Wait, what? Crazy. Wait, yeah. what's the name of that game again? Conception 2, Children oh. of the Seven Stars. And what and what systems is it on? 3DS and Vita. Oh, like, that, that, that. No, you can play this on your PlayStation TV. Okay. Yeah, I don't have a Vita, but it, you can't play this on your PlayStation TV. And it's M-rated. It has to be M-rated. <laughs> oh, oh, but the thing is that the Vita version is better than the uh, 3DS version, actually. It runs okay. better. Alright. I might give it a try. So oh, yeah, we... Didn't really... Didn't mean to scare you there, Celtics. Yeah. And we got two blueprints, because we got that one blueprint from uh, the Creepy Castle's lobby. <laughs> Keep that orange in. Oh, banana. Two times the charm, right? Wow, Ross has been going for a long ass time. We got like five more blueprints to go. Go close. <laughs> yeah. Wow, well, my. Oh, hello. Who dropped out? Hello? You guys still there? Hello. Okay. That might have been me then, because my I noticed my internet was like bluffing for a brief second. Man, I, that's what I was saying. I said Ross is going for a long ass time, but this thing keeps flickering though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alright, so, so now what, Now we're playing as Tony Kong. All right, what do you say? I hear, I hear him. I hear Ryza. But um, uh, what what's the point in getting the blueprints again? Oh, that. Oh, you, you understand when we when we get to hot out him. This. Does it give you like a uh, like a different ending to the game? Oh no no. Well, here's the thing: when you start hot out him, depending how many blueprints you have, you'll. You have a you have a you have you you have a certain amount of time to uh to deactivate the um the blastomatic because if if you get all the blueprints you'll start out as 50, 50 minutes. Really? Yeah. Uh, and that's and is that during the fight with uh, King Carol? Right? No, no. It's it's when it's when you de it's when you deactivate the uh, blastomatic that he's gonna use to destroy DK Island. Ah, uh, okay. Cause I know yeah, if you, I, I know if, if you collect some of them, you'll get you have twenty minutes to de deactivate it. Okay, yeah, I, I never do that. Yeah, and easy way to solve this: use your instrument to, to take out the bugs. Simple as that. And the gold banana is yours. Yeah, was that trash? Isn't that that trash came from Venture Two? We in Cloud Cuckoo Land. Well, it looks different though. Why if I hear a can of soda, I'm standing on the can. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Look at oh, that yeah. cheese. So, in terms of video game Celtics, you should check out uh, Tales of Hearts R. Oh, yeah. yeah. I seen VSL play it. It looks pretty interesting. It's good. I like it. Yeah, it's, it's another Tales series. It, like, when I first bought it, since I was, uh, since I only had, like, four hours to do things, like, when I get home from work. Yeah. Then I go to bed. It took me two weeks straight to beat it. Wow, not bad. I didn't, yeah, cause I, I didn't really play any other game besides, uh, Tales of Hearts R. I, uh, the only Tales game I beat was Tales of Celia 1. I should play all the other ones. I, I've been playing Tales of Celia 2, like, since last year. I, I, I'm also playing, uh, Tales of Sisteria. Oh, you should go and play, actually, no, I don't think you're ever gonna play Oh, Tales of Fantasia, because the only real way to play that game yeah. is to play the GBA version, because no other version came out in the States besides that one. So I gotta emulate it? Yeah, if you want to play the, uh, want to play the Superior version, which is the PlayStation version. Yeah, just like, just like I gotta, if I want to play Star Fox 2, emulate it. Yeah, <laughs> it sucks. It sucks because Tales of Fantasia is a great game, but they never ported it to any other system other yeah. than the GBA. That's Star Fox 2 the nutshell. <laughs> that game was made, but it never, but it never got released. Well, the thing is, Tales of Fantasia was made. Yeah. They just, it's just, just... So, like, if you're going to play a Tales of game, yeah. I would play Tales of Fantasia, and then... I would play Tales of Symphonia, because those games connect, so... Huh. I don't know if they'll release them on the eShop, but... I, you, you're better off emulating it, because it looks yeah. better on PlayStation, so... Holy shit, Ryza! <laughs> you, almost missed the, you almost missed the whole entire video! It's only going for like five or six minutes. Yeah. <laughs> wow, but you can... Hey, you can feel your blue screen is softed. No. Huh. <laughs> Cause that usually happens if I, if I take too long. My internet or blue screen. <laughs> well, no. it, it's not your internet, your computer will blue screen. Yeah, I know, yeah, I know. Yeah, it's not the internet, it's the computer itself. That's what I, that, was, that was trying to imply. But yeah, you gotta jump on the freaking hands to get the gold banana. And if you step in the toxic, it's the instant death. Alright. Is it? Yeah, it is. Why? Because it's toxic. Toxic kills you. Tiny Kong was badly poisoned. <laughs> but, then it, a Pokemon Center. but then again, they had the head, the head swimming in the toxic pond in DKC1. <laughs> now that I remember. Or ten years tap barrel <laughs> to recover. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So next time, one later, folks. Later. Later.